today is the culmination of 14 teams of schools and industry working together to build a solar powered racing car. And the celebration of that work and it's about schools and industry working together. Our teacher Dan Torashik, he um, uh, came up to me in art and asked me if I wanted to be a part of the team. So I agreed and um, I went and found a couple of my mates to um, join and here we are today. My brother had done it before. He won it his year so I sort of want to try to equal what he did. I heard about it through a school assembly and I just like the idea of the electronics and the racing of it. I guess it just seemed like a really cool project just to be able to actually make a car. Most kids probably wouldn't normally get to do something like this. so. I've always had an interest in engineering, I just kind of, you know, I saw the opportunity and I decided to take it. The school was looking for team members and I just joined up, thought it'd be fun. I just like building things, I thought it'd be a cool experience and it was. So I thought it would be fun and it was, because this is my first time doing this. So I've been interested in the solar car challenge since primary school, um, since my dad's brought me along. Tarzo engineered, they're the mentor for Scott School Aubrey. So, Ever since I came in year five, I've wanted to be a part of it. One of the things about this event is it's a classic engineering trade-off. I mean, a light car will go faster, but unfortunately a light car is prone to damage. So the fast ones you might see uh, go very well early, but um, if they can't last the race because of accidents or some carnage on the track, then uh, that makes for an interesting race. We sort of try to make it as light as possible. We're looking for speed in ours. I think we're getting approximately 20 to 21 kilometres an hour. Ground clearance for our car. It's a real problem, it's only got 15 mil of ground clearance and I originally wanted to have five, so it wouldn't have cleared if we had it gone five. The weight was one big one and trying to get the battery charging. Uh, we went for speed as well as reliability. We didn't want to just have a really fast car that would always crash, but we didn't want to have a really slow car either, so we just kind of went a bit in between. We've got a 3D printer at school, so we've printed up all new wheels for the car, which has made it a lot lighter. For some reason the engine just kept cutting out, the motor, and, but we fixed that. We found out it was just the wiring. We've used uh, polystyrene and um, we went over with fiberglass finish. It's basically a surfboard on wheels. We use aluminium because it's light but it's still pretty sturdy. We built it from just sheet metal and folded it and pressed it. But we just whacked parts together and hoped for the best. Really at the start we didn't really know what we were going to do. So it took us a while to get the designs down. We've sort of gone with a bit of a dinosaur theme uh, for this year. Solosaurus Rex is the name of our car. Uh, we actually hope it's not going to be extinct on the day. Obviously hoping to win, but um, you know, if we don't, it's still going to be great. We've geared it for the sun, and if not, we'll just gear it down and for the, for the clouds, so it should be right. Even if it doesn't win, hopefully it gets an award for something. Well, I hope we can win it. <laughs> Anything can happen today. So I definitely don't think we're the fastest, but we're definitely consistent. We're optimistic. Race tactic probably is to try and sort of avoid other teams and not sort of get caught up in the riffraff with them. Do as many laps as we can in the time we have. Try not to crash the car into walls. Well, we know ours goes pretty good once the battery's out, so just hope everyone else's just stops. <laughs> and of course that all combined with great driving as well. You can have the fastest car there. I don't know how to use remote control cars, but my backup plan is I have my nine-year-old son here, so if I'm really bad at it, then I'm going to swap and hope nobody notices. Kev Poulton's got the form, but um, young Ed Wilson uh, has got a lot of promise, so we'll see how that goes. Most laps in 15 minutes. And we're away, folks. Here they go. Look at that. They've almost started. This is amazing. Car 7's winning already, and car number 1 has got off the line. Car number 5 comes through. Here he is. He's come through already. He's come from the back. He's come here as a, as a Oscar, a cool second. And now we're away, folks. I just want to get the son to help him out. Ed Wilson doing nicely. He's got his car going well. 
And uh, car number eight, the jockey John Lafferty, he's also got some pace about him as well. So here we go. He's going around again. He's going to go past Bill Tilly. This is Jeremy Smith, our race leader, already two laps up, doing very nicely indeed. Check it out as he goes around there. Goes around Kev Houghton as well too, just as easy like it. So does Bill Tilly, by the way. Unbelievable driving. Now we're into the straight. Now we're into the straight. <laughs> there we go. He's back on. Oh, so Kev's... Uh, He's picked up his dummy and away he goes, and he's back on the track again. Also, uh, what taste is better? So, uh, Councillor Ross Jackson crashed into me um, just at the last turn and uh, actually bent a steering arm, completely disconnected the front left, and I had no steering. So I gave up thinking it was an irreparable damage, but I'm, I'm making good time now. My flag fell off, but you don't need that because that just slows you down. And I think I'm going to try to make some ground to hopefully try to come second, but I don't know if it's possible. We'll see. We'll see. Three, two, one. Well, there you have it, folks. There's a celebrity race. Big round of applause. Let's hear it. Now we haven't got it officially, but it looks like Jeremy Smith of BHD has absolutely creamed them. But I think Bill Tilly did very nicely, and so did Wilson. So uh, we'll uh, get back to you in just a moment. Get yourself ready. This is a prestigious race. Over $1,000 worth of prizes up for grabs. Get yourself set in three, two, one. And they're off, and they're going. Almost there we go. Looking out in front indeed there, going very nicely. Right out in front, we'll give you the uh, numbers as we go through. Stop all going very nicely, going through there. Car number three, uh, he's been on the middle of his comments, except he'll put a collision there. He's one of the other cars, uh, that's car 01, which is uh, all behind. So as they come back around now, looks very good. Car 13, Murray High still doing a number of vehicle laps there. Uh, and also car number three is the Long Middle Years College. So all going nicely as we get underway here. Scottsdale out in front of this stage, doing very, very nicely. There's the Coral car, very well presented. It's in a, a, a high place there too. Murray White doing nicely as well. And uh, also Bill White back in after a, a great uh, spot in the garage. Car number 09 in the race now, I believe. Uh, so Billabong High have entered the race. Give Billabong High a big round of applause. Friend in his role in the car. Uh, but it might be a little low. Uh, solid might not be working correctly. Okay, so they think they've got troubles with the uh, solar panel uh, charging the battery to keep the car going. Uh, putting all the paper on to see if they're going to go over the door, is it? Yes. Anything else, any other problems with the car? No, it's just getting a bit damaged. Alright, just got the engine out there now, hooking in with the uh, car. Fixing up their battle damage due to the, the drag, uh, slows them down so they're back on track. Everything else going well with the car? Uh, yeah, it can go pretty good so far. So we've got 10, 9, down there with me, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's have a big cheer everybody! So uh, congratulations to Scott School. 155 laps is our, our record to date. So uh, there you have it. So once again, a big round of applause. Scott School uh, in Albury, great work and well done to uh, Batazo Engineered. Yeah, the mentor was very important. Um, the way that we folded all the metal and everything to make it so structurally sound, it, it just worked really well for us. So managed to stay in the race.